Many organizations are struggling with big data. They want to know how big data is going to help their business and what they can do to harness its potential. A recent big data survey commissioned by Hitachi Data Systems helps answer some of these questions. According to the survey findings, many organizations in Asia Pacific recognize that data is a capital asset. In fact, almost Half of those polled in the EIU survey think big data can improve revenue by more than 25%. The proportions are significantly higher when we look at sectors like telecommunications, consumer goods, and financial services. Over 70% of organizations also believe big data can deliver gains in productivity, profitability, and innovation. And 75% believe that the effective use of big data is a key success factor for their business. But despite these high hopes, big data adoption rates in Asia Pacific have been slow. Only 42% reported that they were fairly well advanced or very advanced in big data adoption. The rest either hadn't made much progress, hadn't started yet, or didn't know about big data at all. This was even the case in some of the more advanced economies. So we wanted to find out why. One thing we discovered was that the key barriers to big data adoption were mainly internal. Unwillingness to share information and lack of communication were big factors cited across the board by big data leaders and laggards alike. As a result, Frontline employees were not able to access the data that they needed. Where the leaders stood out from the laggards were in the availability of in-house skills and the deployment of suitable software. Now that you've learned some insights into big data adoption in Asia Pacific, let's talk about what you can do to steer your organization forward in its big data journey. First, you have to start thinking of data as a capital asset and understand the significant impact it can have on your business. Second, take measures to align your organization's culture so that you can take advantage of big data. For example, C-level executives and functional heads have to take ownership of big data initiatives and define a big data strategy for the business. Adopt policies that will break down information silos and improve internal communications. And finally, involve IT early in the business planning cycle and make sure that it is tightly integrated with the business strategy. This will ensure that not only the right technologies are being deployed, but existing data assets are ready to be translated into insights. We hope that this has given you some insights into how you can develop a tangible big data strategy and ensure that your organization continues to innovate with information.